everyone, Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and a new vlog. Make sure to give a girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right, you guys, so we have a busy day today. Today is a full on work day. Um, I did a workout today, but now I'm up bright and early. Well, not so early, but just did a very like everyday makeup look because I'm shooting some content today, just like organic, like holiday content for my Instagram, my TikTok, and of course for you guys here on YouTube. I'm just around my house, so I'll show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes of that. And then I want to show you all some new like Christmas gifts per se that I got in from brands. I have um, Andrea Iyama sent me some clothing pieces. I got something in from Mason Margiela fragrances, um, some things from The Well that's opening up here in Miami Beach next year. And they sent me like a, a care package. So I have a ton of packages to show you guys. And also um, a new haul for uh, winter clothing from Walmart. You guys seem to like love my Walmart haul. So I'm working with them again and I have to create some content for them. So I'll show you guys. So yeah, it's gonna be a busy day. And then tonight I'm hosting a dinner at Casa Donna, uh, which is a new rest or newer restaurant here in Miami. Um, it's probably the most popular restaurant right now next to Delilah. So I'm really excited about that. I have a few friends coming and we're just gonna have a good time. Um, that's also a campaign. And yeah, it's just gonna be a fun day and I'll take you guys with me. I am wearing my Skims house dress and on my lips I have a little of the Dior lip glow oil. Yeah. So we're gonna start with shooting some content and then I'll do like the unboxings and showing you guys the new clothing items and such. And we'll get on with the day. I'm also going to be announcing um, the Chanel giveaway winner at the end-ish of the video. So you're gonna wanna make sure you watch the whole thing to see if you won. Uh, all right guys, let's get into shooting for the day. just got finished shooting some very organic content I wanted like some holiday-esque content with my Christmas tree and also featuring the two like pajama sets that I got from Amazon I have one in white it comes with a little crop top um, cozy pants that are close to the leg and 
also a robe and i also have the same one in black i'm wearing a medium in both and i have linked them both down below they all of the pieces come together it's a three-piece pajama loungewear set that i think is great for the holidays um, and the price point on them is amazing and then i also did some content just in this dress from skims like around my room uh, just like filler content and also content to create TikToks and reels. It's very rare that I actually shoot in my home anymore. So I wanted to get some home content, home decor, because in the new year, people are settling in. It's a little bit slower. People are wanting to update their homes, update their spaces. And I'm probably going to use that content for blog posts and such in January. Uh, and then I also wanted to get some content featuring my new work of art by Trevor Sturman. I picked up this piece when I was at Scope um, um, Contemporary Art Show during Art Basel. You would have seen that in the most previous uh, vlog from Art Basel. And as soon as I saw it, I said, yeah, I need to have it. And you guys know, I, I haven't been in this house that long, maybe about a year and a half, maybe a little bit longer. Um, and I've been wanting to get some art, like some, some beautiful custom, art that represents me as a person and it's so gorgeous in fact let's go down and take a look at it i'll give you some more details on it and then uh we'll get into my walmart haul and open some gifts from brands all right guys so we're here in my first stairwell and this is where i decided to put my trevor sturman piece um this piece was from the collection hair majesty as you can see oh, the braids are like in a beautiful crown um against beautiful dark rich brown skin um with pearls and you guys know i'm an aka so the pearls also mean something to me and then the pearls have actually chanel like cc's on them y'all know how your girl feels about chanel but for me it's really just like the hair the colors the textures this was actually printed on aluminum um i believe it's aluminum and so i'm able to clean it very easily so i want to read you a little bit about the artist because he's new to me um but i've seen his work previously because he was selected by a disney group to interpret marvel's black panther film um and also he worked with the team who created and styled Black is King for Beyonce in 2023. Um, his work is featured in the Brooklyn Museum and the African exhibit Exhibition, which I took you to, so I have probably seen his work. Um, and yeah, I'm just very happy to have my first piece of curated art. Okay, so the piece that I have is Hair Majesty 6. Um, there's quite a few in the Hair Majesty um, collection but I just thought that this would be great for the space because I do have a theme of like muted colors in my home but even if I move I feel like this would go with any type of decor any style of home that I live in um, I'm thinking that my next house is probably going to be a standalone house if it's not another townhouse I really would like a Spanish style bungalow with a pool and a pool house um, and I think this would fit in literally with any kind of home I live in from here on out. And it will be a piece that can travel with me. So yeah, my first piece of art and it does come with a bracket and it's set off the wall. So it looks as if it's floating, which is really cool. And it's very easy to clean as well. So that's my first piece of art. <laughs> and when I shot it earlier with Maria, um, I wore a beautiful Andrea Iyama caftan in red, which I actually got from the Harlem's Fashion Row store. They have a storefront where it's all black designers um, on their website. And you can scroll through and literally shop all black designers in one place. So like I saw the dress, I clicked the link on their site and it took me to the site that the dress was on so if you're looking to shop black owned definitely check it check out harlem's fashion rose website i've linked it down below but that is how i got that stunning caftan uh, from andrea iyama speaking of which she did send me quite a few pieces because she recently opened up a store in new york city and had a store opening i was invited but i was unable to attend but they still sent over some pieces for me so we'll go through those in a minute First, let's get into my Walmart haul. 
Let's go ahead and get into my Walmart haul. I have six pieces. Um, I had to create a reel for them and you all have been loving my Walmart picks. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you what I got. First up, I got this burgundy skirt from Scoop. If I'm shopping at Walmart, the brands that I look out for are Scoop um, and Sofia Vergara's lines. They have everything and all the things are thinking, okay? So we have this Scoop skirt and scoop used to be a new york city exclusive brand and then i believe they are just now exclusively on walmart but how cool is this it's a nice like burgundy brown color it does have an elastic waist but then there's a hidden zipper here on the side and i love that it's asymmetrical which is nice it's very weighty and feels good on the inside it's like a felt so it's nice, it feels nice against your skin and then it doesn't make that like weird, <laughs> you know, faux leather sound. But I got this skirt, I got it in a small, which is a size four to six and it fit perfectly. But again, it is elastic waist and a hidden zipper. Now, in addition to that, I got the matching jacket because I wanted the jacket this color for like the fall and winter. Same color, a beautiful like chocolate burgundy. And it has super thick silver hardware. And I believe all of these pieces are under 40 bucks. So yeah, <laughs> get into it. I got this in a size large because I like to wear my thick sweaters and such underneath. And it fits great. The sleeves are just the right length. And I love the silver detailing here. It's nice and thick. And you can unzip them like so you have a little more room for your sleeves and just look at this this is very similar to my um saint laurent jacket have a little zipper pocket there the top pleats it's just a really cool jacket and yes you can zip it up and the zipper is nice and thick which i like oh such a cool jacket um and for walmart like girl get into it and then it has the snaps as well so you can snap everything and be a totally snapped up but such a great motor jacket from scoop um i'll link it down below again i got it in a large and it does perfectly match the skirt next up i actually paired that look with this cream colored knit sweater I mean, I like a full monochrome look, but sometimes you need to break it up a little bit just to make it more interesting to the eye. So I ended up getting this turtleneck also from Scoop. It has a little, I'm not sure you can see, a little V there. And then the rest is just a rib knit. The quality on this is amazing. It's nice and thick, has a turtleneck that you can wear all the way up or you can fold down. And I just realized I don't have enough of like turtlenecks, especially neutral ones in my wardrobe. And so all I need is one and it will get me through the winter. But yeah, super good quality. You can see the ribbing. It's nice and thick. And let's see what size I got this in. I think I got it in a medium. Yeah, I got this in a medium which fits an eight through a 10. By the way, most of these things from Walmart do go up to plus size, so make sure you're checking the links. Sometimes it'll say sold out, but it's automatically on one size that's sold out. So you have to like click through to see if your size is actually sold out. Um, so those are the first three pieces from Walmart. And I ended up styling that look with these same patent leather stiletto boots from Walmart that I showed you guys in a previous video and y'all bought these up. Okay, they are very comfortable, super easy to walk in. They have a rubber bottom. The heel is not too high. It's about two and a half inches, but I didn't have a pair of a patent leather boots. And so I've been wearing these very comfortable. I believe they're under 40 bucks. They come in a few different colors. I know they have white and I can't remember the other color, but I'll link these down below because if you don't get nothing from Walmart Girl and you need a good patent leather boot, this is it. And it's probably on sale. Two more pieces from Walmart. First up, we have this knit. This is a thick knit sweater. This is from the Sofia Vergara line at Walmart. And 
I love this sweater. So it's black, it's a cable knit sweater with the classic cable knit design, but look how thick, look how thick the wrist cuffs are. I actually really love that look. And it is a turtleneck, but what I love most is that there is a cutout for your shoulder. So one shoulder is out and the other shoulder is covered and it just gives it a very like model off duty, trying but not trying, relaxed, effortless look. And the quality on this is amazing. Again, I always kind of go for the Sofia Vergara line when it comes to clothing at Walmart. I got this in a size medium and yes, a medium and it fits perfectly. It does have a little bit of stretch, but it's meant to be like oversized, slouchy. You can wear it with your leggings and your Ugg boots and have just a little shoulder peeking out. We all like just a little bit of something to be out in the winter time. You know, drive them in crazy with a little shoulder action. Now, I ended up pairing those with another pair of velvet pants. Now, when I previously did a, a Walmart haul, I had some velvet flared pants, and y'all sold those out so quick. <laughs> but they have these as well. These are also from Scoop. I got them in a size six, and these are velvet leggings. So if you're looking for a velvet pant, and you really, really like those flared ones that sold out, try the leggings because I feel like I wear leggings more in the winter time anyway. This is a this is a, a more dressed down velvet pant and it does have a little bit of stretch. It also has back pockets. I don't know if you guys can see, but they're meant to be a little bit tapered, closer to the leg, more of a velvet legging that you can wear with your oversized sweaters, and maybe a mule or a heel or a booty. I think these would look so good with like a booty, like a, a, an ankle boot that's cut off at your ankle. These would look so amazing and just like an oversized chunky knit sweater. Uh, so yeah, those are the six pieces in new from Walmart. I already had the boots from their previous haul, but everything else is new. I've linked everything down below. If you like anything, stop the video and go to the description box and go to the links <laughs> because because these things are so affordable once i show them they tend to sell out like pretty quickly that's what happened with the last walmart haul so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that walmart haul i'm gonna go ahead and pop up the reel that i created for them here you can also check it out on my instagram and on my youtube shorts and i will be right back I partnered with Walmart to show you some new and fashion favorites. Look one, we have this burgundy asymmetrical skirt paired with a ribbed knit turtleneck. I love the design on this, by the way. For the shoes, we went with these black patent leather stiletto boots. And this skirt actually has a matching leather jacket. The silver detailing on the jacket really set it off. Let's get into look two. Next up, we have a velvet legging, which is perfect for the holiday season. Pair it with this chunky fit knit sweater with a little cutout detail. Which Walmart look is your favorite? <laughs> you guys, I am starving. What time is it? Let me see. It is 1.16 and all I've eating today is a cup of coffee which is not good um i have some salmon left over that i cooked the other day and i think i'm just going to eat that with some arugula and i think i'm going to boil some sweet potatoes to eat with that i've been trying to be back on my healthy kick because i was feeling a little fluffy but yeah yeah i pulled this dress out this is from indigo studio you if you've been following me for a while, you've seen this dress a few times. I think I wore it for New Year's one year. And then I can't. Oh, and then I wore it in Paris during Paris Fashion Week for a um, party. And yeah, it's time to wear it again. So I'm wearing this tonight for dinner at Casa Donna. I'm throwing a dinner in collaboration with Tango Ray Gin. Um, the color is green, and even though it's a deeper green, I feel like this is cute. Like, this will work for the content. Um, so we're gonna wear this Indigo Studio dress this evening. 
um let's head downstairs and eat lunch and then i'll come back up and i'm going to go through some gifts that i've gotten we'll start with andrea yama another black owned business um the pieces they sent me are so freaking good um and then we'll get into like some holiday presents that brands have sent me um i actually have all the boxes under the tree <laughs> because I wanted to have something to open for like Christmas but I can't wait like I need to open everything now so let's head on down there and get ourselves some food um yeah let's go So I just finished cooking. I quickly roasted some broccoli with a little bit of um, olive oil, garlic powder, and red pepper flakes. And then some sweet potato with just a little bit of olive oil. I don't really put anything else on it. And then I already had this salmon from, um, I cooked it the other night. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna eat for lunch. And then I decided to make myself a ginger tea and i usually make this twice a week especially in the winter time when it's so much easier to like get sick um and being around a bunch of people um so i just take a little bit of um ginger and i take off the skin i chop it up and i'll boil it until the water is this color um and then i'll just pour it into a cup i'll add a little bit of honey maybe a tiny bit of sugar and just some i'll squeeze some lemon juice in it and i'll just work on that concoction until i get you know <laughs> so that it's not so bitter um or like to have a huge bite and then i will put maybe like two or three um just fresh raw ginger inside as well so yeah this is my little ginger concoction sometimes i'll put the lemon wedge in there as well but this time i just squeeze the juice inside so it's great for if you're feeling congested, um, if you just want to maintain good health during, you know, the winter time because it's great for like inflammation, ginger. So yeah, I made myself a little ginger tea. I'm going to eat my lunch quickly. It's going to be a working lunch because I need to post some stories today for um, Michael Kors. You would have probably seen it already on my YouTube shorts. And after I finish eating, I'm going to do some unboxings for you guys. So let's eat, catch up on my YouTube girlies who are doing Vlogmas. Shout out to everyone who's doing Vlogmas because you guys, it is so freaking hard. Even with me, I'm not doing Vlogmas, but all of, I'm vlogging all of December. No sit down videos. And all of, uh, it's just hard. And I'm not even editing my videos, y'all. So yeah, ready to eat. If you try this recipe, let me know. If you try the ginger tea, let me know how you like it. So good and so good for you. Ooh, it has just the right amount of like zing. I love it. All right, I'll check back in with you guys momentarily. Hey y'all. So I just finished my lunch, it was delicious. I always love a good roasted vegetable. And as you can see, I have drank most of my ginger tea mm. i'm already feeling like invincible 
Meanwhile, the big, the, the vid is going around again, y'all. And so I'm trying my best <laughs> to stay well, okay? Because I, I can't, not for the holidays. Please, protect yourself, okay? Um, so I have a few gifts. We are going to start with Andrea Iyama because you've already seen me in the red, like, caftan dress from her earlier when I was filming content with Maria. If I can find that caftan, I will link it down below. It's so beautiful. Definitely giving, like, rich auntie vibes. But yeah, she opened up a store recently in New York City. I believe it's in Soho. Um, and I should have went and visited the last time I was home, but I'll be back in New York soon and I will check it out. I wasn't able to make it to the grand opening, but they sent me over a few pieces. So shout out to her for always, you know, keeping me top of mind. I, I believe, is this the first gift they ever sent me? I do believe it is. I mean, everything else I bought with my own money because I love the brand that much. But let's get into what was sent. Um, they sent me three pieces, no, four pieces. Ah! Let's start with the jewelry. And I, they did have like a lookbook so I can like pick out a few things. So these are going to be the cot earrings, but I wanted to show you the beautiful packaging. So gorge. So it just flips up like that. Comes in a nice little dust bag here. And these are the coral cot earrings. They are stunning. Look at the beads. I love the color. You guys know, I just did my own jewelry collaboration with Hoop Mob and I love a good statement earring. So when I saw these, I was like, oh, these are so good. These will be perfect for the holidays. These are actually year round earrings. Let me try them on for you so you can see how they look. Oh, I forgot. I actually have earrings on. These are my little huggy earrings from local European. Um, I tend to wear these a lot when I have my braids because they're very like understated. But look at these. They are so beautiful and so intricate. I want to put my hair up so you all can see them better but look at them oh I love the color they're so gorgeous oh my goodness I'm I'm shook I'll be sure to link these down below because they are on the website I think I really want the they, they have a pair that are wooden like half of a circle those are really cool as well and I think I'm gonna get those so that's the first thing and the other things that I got actually match these gorgeous earrings they're very light by the way too um, and they're kind of pliable and moldable so you can kind of make them into your own shape but I love this okay next up look at this top it's the craftsmanship for me look at that so we have these uh beads on the shoulders like on the sleeves a little bead up top and then it's almost like a bustier type of vibe with all of these beautiful reds maroons and it ties up in the back like so it really is a bustier um there's a, a pad in here and I got this in a medium and then it has these little sleeves which have the elastic so you just kind of slide your arm through and then it's sheer like a puffy sheer sleeve this is such a gorgeous top I'm of course gonna try it on so you should be seeing it on but wow this is gorgeous I love that that one bead in the middle too and the beads do come around like they go the whole way around of like the bra. Super cute. Now, in addition to this, I got the matching sarong. So this is like a sarong skirt, which is great for me because I live in Miami. Um, oh, look at it. It's 
the same colors. It's more of like a cotton fabric. And then it has the little fringe here. And it does have like a slit. So it's a long, like maxi sarong skirt. And then on the bottom, it also has that fringe. This is just beautiful. I feel like I'm gonna wear this for like New Year's Day. Because it's usually quite warm. But this, oh, so gorge. You're gonna see it, of course. Um, next up, they sent over a dress, and I have been eyeing this dress for a while. I tried it on last night. <laughs> Fits like a dream. Now, you guys know I love these tops from Andrea Iyama. I have this top in like a peach color. I have it in a burgundy color. I have it in green. And now I have it in like the multi color. But this is not just a top. It also has a mini skirt <laughs> attached with that same kind of like motif on it. So the top is sheer and then it has a satin skirt at the bottom. And this fits so well. There's a little hidden zipper in the back for the skirt. Um, and then it just buttons up top in the back. So the top is meant to be sheer. You can wear like a bra or something underneath. And then you have the attached mini skirt in satin which is just stunning i also got this in a medium and it fits perfectly uh so gorge so those are two new end pieces from andrea yama well not two it's actually four including the earrings uh so special thanks to them for sending this over and if you're in the new york city area definitely check out their new store the store is stunning i've seen it on instagram um but definitely check out the store and support uh the pieces are so good like she does resort so well if you're going on a vacation you need it so that's first up from andrea iyama now we are going to get into some holiday bits from mason margella also from my friends over at brahmin and last but not least my friends over at michael core sent me a gift as well so let's get into those all right so let's get into the rest of these gifts from brands um sorry if the light is going in and out it's like four and it's already starting to get dark in miami it's also a really rainy dreadful day today um but yeah let's get into what i got from mason margella First of all, this box is so cool. And it's probably one of them that I'm gonna keep. But let's open it together. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is my favorite, you guys. Inside, we have Replica Mason Margiela. Uh, give the gift of cozy memories spent by the fireplace. This is my favorite this holiday season. Introducing Replica by the Fireplace. Um, scented candle and limited edition metallic gold for the holidays. So this is already my favorite by the Fireplace. It's my favorite candle from Replica. Look how cool this is. This like silver part. How cool is that? So inside we have the by the Fireplace fragrance. Would you guys know, oh my God, this smells amazing. I normally don't wear this as a scent because it does smell like burning wood. Um, I wouldn't mind if a man wore this, but for me, it's just a little too smoky. But I love the way the candle smells. Um, and I love spraying this like around my home, like on my rugs and on pillows and linens to like give it that super cozy warm snuggly by the fireplace feel of winter uh, so i usually keep one of these in both of my apartments so that i can spray it on my linens and things it smells amazing and this is the limited edition gold bottle usually it's a clear bottle with white paper um, this is the one for the holidays. So I'll link this down below. Hopefully you're able to like buy this and gift it or just have it for yourself. Um, oh, gosh, it smells so good. 
And of course they sent the candle as well. This is my favorite, favorite candle from Mason Margiela, replica um, candles. And they sent over the gold. How beautiful is this? I'm gonna go ahead and put this right on downstairs, probably on my kitchen table. And with a mixture of like, I have a, a reed diffuser that smells like pine, which kind of smells like Christmas, like it gives my tree an actual live smell. Mixed with this, it's gonna feel <laughs> so Christmassy down there. Oh, this smells amazing. By the fireplace, so, so good. So shout out to my Margiela fam for sending over the limited edition. Like the packaging is so cute. So if you're looking for a gift to give someone, everyone literally loves this scent. Um, normally I wouldn't tell people to buy someone a fragrance. This is amazing. And it's so aesthetically pleasing and just so holiday and festive with this packaging. Love that for me. Okay, so that is the first gift from Margiela. Let's get into the second gift from Brahmin. Okay, next up, we have a gift from my friends over at Brahmin. Brahmin was actually one of the first uh, handbag brands that I ever worked with. Um, so they've been around for a while. They make amazing quality like leather um, handbags for an affordable, like amazing price. So let's open this up. I can't remember which one I asked for, but all of their bags come in a beautiful dust bag. You can see it says Brahmin there. Okay, I think I, I remember what I picked out now, but I wonder if you can guess the color. Ooh. <laughs> okay, you guys. So I got this bag from Brahmin. This is stunning. The color is even more vibrant than I thought it was going to be. Let me take this off. You guys know I'm a top handle kind of girl, um, unless it's a super close shoulder bag like a Dior. Saddle. Oh, I love the shape of this. This is so gorgeous. Let me see if I can find the name of it. Okay, so this is the small Becca bag in Royal Purple Melbourne. It is genuine leather, and as you can see, it has like that snake. Oh, wow. This is the back of it, and it does have a little back pocket, which is wonderful. I can pop my phone in there. It has a magnetic closure back there. And I love that the handle is the same material, and it's not different. It makes the bag so cohesive. It has gold hardware. See, it has a little gold pulley. This actually still has the plastic on it. Let's look inside. It has a little tissue paper in there. Have a little card in there. Okay, so on the inside, this is what we have going on. There's a little pocket there. And then on the other end, there is a zipper pocket. So one large pocket and one um, zipper pocket. And then it has this on the inside. Oh, uh, can you see it? It's a little piece of leather with a little hook there so that you can like hook your keys and things. Anything you don't want to just get lost in your bag. I love that. That's such a wonderful idea. And I love the shape of this. It's almost like a half crescent. And then we have a little hang there. This is so cute. And this does not come with like a shoulder strap or anything, just one strap. And it is big enough to wear on your shoulder. And this comes in so many different colors. I believe it, there was a gray, a green, um, of course black, I think a brown. Uh, and this is just so cute. You guys know I've been loving purple lately. And I feel like these will go with my purple shoes too. But I don't have a purple bag being that I never updated you guys, but I ended up sending both of those bags back from Rebag. I just couldn't justify it, like wearing either one of them enough. But when it came to gift, being gifted a bag, I thought this would be perfect. And I actually really do love the shape of this and that I can wear it as a shoulder bag. Whereas the other purple bag that I had from Rebag, which was that I, I think the Antigona from Givenchy, 
I can only carry. And I like that I can carry this handheld and also um, put it on my shoulder. So this is way more functional for me and I love it. So shout out to Brahmin for sending this. I will link this down below along with a few other bags that I'm loving from the brand. This is like the best Christmas present. Ah, I do love purple. And I even love that like there's a little hint of pink in there too. It's like pink and purple, which is a great color combo. Okay, love that Brahmin bag. Ah, I'm so lucky, like I really <laughs> have an amazing job. I mean, I know I complain about it a lot, but it's really the best job ever. And I thank God for it every day. And I thank God for you too. Um, okay, last but not least, we got a little something in from my fam at Michael Kors. You guys know I've been working with Michael Kors all year and all last year too. And hopefully all of 2024 because I really enjoy working with them. Uh, first of all, they give me free reign to do whatever I want in terms of content. Um, second of all, I love the pieces, the shoes, the bags, the dresses, the coats, and everything is very well priced and like very well made. I think people kind of forget about Michael Kors sometimes, but there's always a sale. It's very easy to find things under $100, under $150 that will be in your wardrobe for five years or more. Um, so yeah, I'll link a few of my favorite pieces down below from Michael Kors, especially like holiday dresses, um, boots. All of these things are about to go on sale because people are about to start pushing spring. But it's still gonna be cold for about four more months, especially if you're in the Northeast. So go ahead and check out down below in the description box of my Michael Kors favorite things. And there will be a things that, that I've owned and that I've shown you guys already. But they decided to send me a little gift. And I do believe this is probably a fragrance. I love the box. I was right. So this says Michael Kors, A Touch of Magic. Um, the Michael Kors Sparkly Motif for Holiday 2023. It's a bold floral woody fragrance that envelops you in a world of beauty, stretching as far as the eye can see. So this is a fragrance and I don't have very many. I think I have one Michael Kors fragrance. So this is called Gorgeous. Can you see the packaging? Focus, there we go. It's like a pale pink and silver. And it just has gorgeous with an exclamation point there. Um, let's do first impressions. They said it was, what, a floral woody fragrance. Grounded in warm, strange, smoky tobacco. I do love a good smoky tobacco. Let's take a look at the bottle. Oh, it says, hello gorgeous, right when you open it up. Oh, I love the bottle. The bottle is so aesthetic and cool and like architectural. Can you guys see that? It's like one edge is like shaved. And on the front, it just says right here. Um, it just says, hello gorgeous has a black round top with an edge sawed off and then it says Michael Kors. This is such a cute bottle. Ooh, let's, let's test it out. So far, I love the presentation. The bottle is gorgeous. I love this shape, how clean, streamlined it is. And then you can put the top on so that that sawed off edge matches with this sawed off edge. Ooh, it smells a little peppery. <coughs> oh, it's very pretty. I like it. Ooh. Okay, it is a little woody, but sweet, sweet wood. Can definitely smell just a hint of the tobacco, a little pepper. You know what this reminds me of? It's a little bit similar to the Jennifer Lopez, but a little, the Jennifer Lopez uh, promise that I was wearing to death. In fact, it's all gone. Like I, <laughs> I need to order a new bottle because I wore it down. 
and people love that fragrance everywhere i went people were like oh my god what is that and i'm like jennifer lopez promise i need to buy another one because i literally uh, there's no there's none left <laughs> okay there's none left i'll link that one down below because that's one of my favorites of 2023 for sure this this reminds me of that but this is a little heavier like for the winter it's less pretty more masculine more heavy but with the same notes of like tobacco sweetness yeah this reminds me of another fragrance too but i can't think of it uh anywho shout out to my michael kors fam for sending this over all right you guys today's wednesday Ooh, today is wednesday so i'm uploading today's video right now um, and I need to make a thumbnail for it and go ahead and try and get it live before I start getting ready to head to dinner tonight. I'm really excited for Casa Donna because I did go um, for the first time during Art Basel. I went to an architectural digest party there and it's gorgeous in there. And they did have like little bites being passed around and the bites were good. So I actually need to go look at the menu. I'm one of those. I'm one of those people who I go, I look at the menu way before I ever go to the restaurant and I already know in my mind what I'm going to order as soon as I get there. I'm very type A and I like what I like. If you are the same, let me know down below. Um, meanwhile, <laughs> I don't plan anything else, but I will know what I'm going to eat. I'm a tourist and I'm serious about my food. So I'm going to go take a look at the menu. I think it's Italian. It sounds Italian. Casadonna. It's given Italian. Um, but when I was there, they did have like lamb and other things. So maybe it's Mediterranean. It's so beautiful in there. Oh, I can't wait to take you guys tonight. We're going to have fun. Um, I, got, I think my girl Rhea's going. Maria is coming, of course. And my friend Cassidy. It was just like a small little intimate gathering of fun. And probably talking a lot of shit. All right, you guys. I am going to get that video up for you. And then I am going to relax a bit before getting ready tonight. But I will make sure to link all of these things down below for you guys if you are interested. Let's get to work. Andrea Iyama dress that I showed you all earlier because I could not get the zipper up on my Indigo Studios green dress and now I'm in a bad mood but hopefully a few Tangeray drinks will level me up to a level of nonchalant non-caring so let's hope that for me plus I think the food at this restaurant is good have you been here before yeah but they didn't serve like for the oh opening. yeah you went for an event for the opening oh yeah so yeah oscar de la renta earrings fenty beauty lip you already seen this andrea iyama dress from earlier i just have my little clutch supposed to end this vlog off yesterday but 
Of course, I forgot to announce who won the Chanel bag giveaway. So without further ado, the winner is Shell's Gal here on uh, YouTube as well as Instagram. Girl, you've been rocking with me for years. Like I went all the way back <laughs> and I think you first commented on like my Instagram in like 2016. And you comment here on YouTube and you're just so supportive and I appreciate you. There were so many people that I wanted to, to like give this gift to, but you had to meet all the requirements. But a uh, special note to Pleasantly Introverted, you're actually quite new. Um, even though you've been following me for a while, you leave such incredible comments. Also, um, Sunflower Butterfly, <laughs> You're incredible. You have literally left over like 400 comments on my videos, which is crazy. That's almost every video. Like, wow. Thank you. Uh, who else? Um, Danny Doodle, you are a writer. I think you've given me like uh, 300 or 400 likes on videos and 100 plus comments. Like, it was so many people to choose from, but I could only choose one. Uh, but yeah, I think what I'm going to do is for those of you who are subscribed to my YouTube channel, I cannot find y'all's emails. So you have to subscribe to my newsletter. Please click the link below that says subscribe to my newsletter. It comes out every Tuesday. That way I actually have your email and your information without you having to leave it in a comment. When you leave your email in a comment, it's not good for you because it opens you to scammers who will then email you pretending to me, me t pretending to be me, saying that you've won something or something like that. Like you cannot leave your email in a public forum. The only way I can get your email without you putting it in a public forum is for you to subscribe to my newsletter. Um, so yeah, that way I have your email and a few little details about you as well. I can keep track of you. Um, I can't do that through YouTube. So please subscribe to my newsletter because that's the really the only way I can do giveaways for you guys. Um, so yeah, if you're not subscribed to my newsletter, you have to follow me on Instagram. YouTube is not a safe space for me to be able to contact you directly because scammers and people who want to steal your information, steal your money, watch the comments of YouTube. It's very easy to get people's stuff through there. So I have to be able to contact you directly without other people seeing it. So you have to be following me on Instagram so that I can personally direct message you or subscribe to my newsletter so that I have your email. I can personally email you from my email. Um, that's the only way that like YouTube giveaways work without you guys like getting scams. So please follow me on Instagram at Monroe Steel. Please join my newsletter. There's a link to it below. You click the link, a little box pops up. You put your email in, I got you. The emails go out every Tuesday and sometimes they go to your spam. So you have to go to your spam and look, it'll be from me, Monroe Steele. Um, and then you just have to make sure you remove it from spam so that my emails come through. All right, you guys. So shout out to Shell's gal. I already contacted you. Um, your Chanel bag is on the way to you. Speaking of Chanel, you guys, Chanel restocked my favorites. Now, if you are subscribed to my YouTube, I mean to my Instagram, then you already saw this on my Instagram stories because I dropped everything there first. Boom, bam, bop. I ordered this one day ago. It came in one day. So if you're looking for a super quick gift to give someone for the holidays, this is it. So what I ordered, are my favorite Chanel La Cotton wipes. These are, they used to be $20. Y'all, Chanel done went up. These are now $25 a box. It comes with 100 of the Chanel cotton wipes. I'll show you what they look like because y'all know I ordered three boxes. <laughs> I love these things. So they're just really bougie cotton wipes, but they have the Chanel can you see it? Y'all see the CC? They have the little Chanel. Come on. You know what? I'll just, oh my goodness. Don't worry. I'll just overlay something because you can't see it. But it's a pretty thick cotton white that I use to like take off my makeup. Um, and also um, like 
when I'm cleaning my face. I usually don't, honestly, I don't use a washcloth on my face, um, unless I'm in the shower. And then I have a separate washcloth just for my face and one for my body because I'm kind of OCD and who wants to wash their face with something they wash their body with is gross. Um, but most of the time I don't like using washcloths on my face because even if you use it once or twice, like the bacteria is already on it. So I'm kind of OCD y'all. So I only use cotton wipes <laughs> to wash my face. Like that's what it is. Um, and these have cute little Chanel CC on it. $25 a box. They used to be 20 But again, it does come in this super thick, cool Chanel box that you can use to like store things in or that's what I use it for. I put like all my old mail in these, like the mail that I need or to probably shred. And like uh, all of my little like gift bags and boxes and things, I just put them in this Chanel box. So I got the Chanel cotton wipes. I also got these which have been out of stock for so long these are the chanel mirrors and they come in this little box when you open it up and i bought these as gifts like i saw that they had them and i just bought a bunch of them um i think they're 40 bucks they come in this little felt what is going on with the okay here we go this little felt like wrap and then you pull it out and it's the Chanel compact mirror in black. Now it has two mirrors. It has a standard mirror and it has a macro lens mirror. So you trying to pull out your chin hairs, you know, pop a pimple, look at your pores. There's a mirror for that and then just like a regular mirror. And this makes the perfect Christmas gift because I mean, it's Chanel. It comes in this cool little felt bag. And then also it comes in that huge box with like two free gifts from Chanel that you're able to choose on the site. So yeah, all in all, such a great Christmas gift and birthday gift. So anytime these are online and they have them stocked up, I just buy a bunch and I give them away as gifts and presents. So yeah, I will link these down below 40. I think these are $40. And then the cotton wipes are 25 and again, everything comes nicely packaged and such. So I will link those things down below. Uh, uh, when this video goes live, there will be exactly one week till Christmas. If you order it today, you'll get it in like three days. So you'll have it before Christmas as a gift. So yeah, I'll link it down below. Uh, the set is from Amazon, I've linked it. That is it for this vlog. By the way, last night was super fun going to Casa Donna it's it's italian and it's so freaking good the food is good the ambiance is good the service was excellent um my girl cassidy ria and maria um, we just had a dinner there in collaboration with tangray and it was just so much fun you guys i wanted to wear this dress which is from indigo studios the last time i wore it was in paris to a party and y'all Y'all remember the very first time I put this dress on and I vlogged it and Rose was trying to help me zip it up? The zipper on this dress is a fucking nightmare. Um, bleep out the F word for me, um, editor, please. It's a nightmare. Um, and I did complain about it to them and I think they did like uh, agree to resend me one. But like every, I forget that every time I want to wear this dress, the zipper is a nightmare and it's so sad because it's such a gorgeous dress Rhea had to come over and try to help me zip it up and literally the zipper like the the tag part fell off so I'm just gonna take this to a seamstress um one that I have close by and I'm gonna get the entire like the zipper is still on there and it still works but it's like so catchy it's like the worst zipper and this dress was like a thousand dollars like girl but I forget every time that this dress is such a hassle and I'm sad because I really wanted to wear this last night. And uh, I'm going to take this to my tailor. I'm going to have them take the whole entire zipper out and replace it because I cannot with this zipper. And in fact, my two fingers hurt today because I was spending so much time trying to zip this zipper up. Um, but Indigo Studios is a black owned business. I love them. I love their clothes. And I think this one is just faulty. So yeah, I have to get that fixed. And I ended up wearing, oh, 
you already saw it. I ended up wearing the Andrea Iyama dress, which turned out to be super beautiful last night. But yeah, if you're ever in Miami, definitely check out Casa Donna. It is on my list of one of my favorite restaurants. I love the ambiance. I love the people watching. Um, the food is so, so delicious. And it, all of their pastas are really good. I love their spaghetti nero, which is their black spaghetti. Um, it comes with like seafood in it. So delicious and flavorful. I also love their, I think it was a rigatoni with like cream. That was good. I normally don't like tuna tartare. It's just not for me. But the tuna tartare was delicious. And it had a uh, caviar on top and some kind of cream. But like the flavors of it, oh, that was the best tuna tartare I've ever had. Um, what else is really good? The food is the food is good. Okay, so definitely check it out if you can get a reservation here in Miami. It's a great like date night, girls' night out, super everyone dresses up, everyone looks amazing, and the crowd is nice type of vibe. So yeah, that's it for this video again. Um, shout out to Shell's gal who won the Chanel bag. I will continue to do um, giveaways every month, only for newsletter subscribers. So if you're not subscribed to my newsletter, you're not entered <laughs> to win uh, a prize. So I'm probably gonna be giving away some of these Chanel mirrors as well, uh, starting in January. So just shout out to everyone who supports your gal. This year has been amazing. I'm talking like this is the last video of the year. It's not. <laughs> There's more vlogs coming. Um, but I appreciate you guys so much. You guys show up and show out for my Hoop Mob collection. Um, it's. I think there are still some pieces available. Some have already sold out. But I can't believe it. Like I sold out of a whole pair, like two pair, two things in a day. And it's crazy like i appreciate you guys so much like i couldn't have these opportunities if it wasn't for like my audience if it wasn't for you so thank you guys you are the best the best the best the best the best more giveaways coming to usually like every week i'll do a giveaway for my newsletter subscribers so subscribe to my newsletter thank you thank you so much all right, guys, everything you've seen in today's video is linked down below. Check out my collection um, with Hoop Mob Statement Jewelry for the holidays. Check out my clothing line collabor collaboration with Something by Sanji. We go up to a 3XL in all of our four pieces. Everything is black. Everything is amazing. Great for the holidays. Pretty quick shipping. If you order now, you'll probably get it by New Year's. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you.